For this next step, we're going to focus on adding the facial features and kind of the medium details. So we started with the background details. We're going to, um, in this one, focus on, again, the medium details. And then the next step we're going to focus on is the highlight shadows and just some of the refining details. Um, but before we get started, I do want to layer things up so that um, we can shrink all of those paths into the same layer. Um, in Gravit Design, the layers work slightly different, um, where we have to create those paths first and then highlight them and drag them into a new layer. Um, but in the Layers panel, you'll see this little Add New Layer button. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to double click to change the name of this. And I'm going to type Background. So that way we can put all three of these paths, so the hair, face, and uh, shirt, all into that background layer. So I'm going to click on the first path, hold down shift, click on that third path, and it should highlight all of them. And then I'm just going to drag, hover over the uh, background layer so that it highlights pink there, and then I'm going to drop it. So now if I click the little drop down for the background, you can see those three paths. And this way I can lock all three of them together so they don't get in the way. And I can also hide those right now so those are out of the way as we move into uh, more of these details here moving forward. Um, but the first facial feature that I want to focus on is the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the eyes there. And we're going to start with the pen tool again and just work on the white part of the eye first. So I'm going to outline all the way around the outside of the eye. Um, and I can almost go from one end to the other and just drag that handle out a little bit. Click to uh, get rid of that additional handle so I have just that corner there. And then I'm just going to come almost to where I started. Pull that down to the side and then close out my shape there. So again, this is gonna be the white part of the eye. Now it is going to auto fill with white, um, but that will be unnaturally bright for the photo. If you look at um, the white part of the eye here, it's not as vivid or as bright. So I'm gonna just grab that eyedropper and find a lighter part of the eye uh, that I can use over here. So it is almost more of a gray you could uh, click on the actual little gray circle there and bring that up so it's a little bit lighter. So maybe something like this where it's not a bright white, um, but it's also not too dark. And then I'm going to click off of that. I'm going to grab my selection tool to select that eye. And I also want to get rid of the border because right now it has, if we zoom in, you can see that little bit of a black border, which you won't want eventually. Um, so I'm going to hide that black border, and then I'm going to move on to the other eye. So I'm going to grab that pen tool again, and just outline around the eye. Remember to try to use as few anchor points as possible. And I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool, and I'm just going to use that same gray from the other eye. So I clicked on that to fill it. I'm going to hide the border so I don't have an outline around it. Click back on my selection tool to deselect the eye and just click anywhere on the screen. And now I'm going to select uh, both of these eyes here. So I'm going to hold down shift, click on both of the uh, white part of the eye. And I'm going to hide the fill. We can bring that back later. But I'm going to hide it so we can add uh, the pupils and iris. I'm going to actually uh, make my job a little bit easier here and just grab the shape tool which is up at the top by the selection tool. Click on the ellipse, and then I'm just going to click and drag and try to line that ellipse up on the eye. So there's the first one. I'm gonna hide the fill again, use the eyedropper, and find that um, main kind of medium color of the eye, so I don't wanna find somewhere that's too dark or a highlight yet, because we'll get there um, on the next layer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a circle for the next eye here. You could either leave them the same color or you could uh, hide the fill and find a different green color for this part of the eye here. So it uh, depends on what you want to go for. And then I'm going to leave the black part for now. We'll add that uh, detail later on the next video. But I'm going to 
go ahead and unhide the white part of the eye. So if you click with your selection tool and drag across the screen, it will select everything here and we can just unhide it and that brings the white part of the eye back. So now if we zoom out, um, you can see that you have the eyes completed here and you can, as you go, unhide your background layer so you can kind of see how it's gonna look. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. So I'm gonna zoom in on the lips and grab my pen tool. And then I'm not gonna worry about this line or the highlights or any details on the lips yet. I'm just trying to find the solid shapes to fill in. And again, we'll come back and do the details later. So I'm just gonna follow the main uh, kind of pink color around the outside of the lips. And again, I'm just clicking and dragging using as few anchor points as possible. And make sure you do close those shapes. I'm gonna hide the white fill, grab the eyedropper, and find a medium pink color to add to the lips. Next, we're gonna to move to the nose, and we're just going to uh, do the two uh, little nostrils here, not worry about too much detail with it. So I'm just gonna outline around this uh, darker shadow. And again, I'm going to hide my fill, grab the eyedropper, and find um, that darker value there and then hide the stroke so I don't have an outline around it. And we actually have to go back and fix that on the lips too. So always make sure you're hiding um, the stroke. But I'm going to go around the outside of this nostril. And this one's actually a little bit lighter, so I'm going to hide that fill again and use that eyedropper tool um, and grab that lighter value. And then I'm going to use the selection tool to click back on the mouth and hide that stroke. So now there's no strokes around these. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is the ears. So I'm going to grab um, the tool here. And the reason why we're doing the ears is because the main general color over most of the ears is slightly different from the medium value of the face. So I would definitely uh, try to section this off separately just so we can get a slightly different value on the ears as well. I'm outlining around those. I'm gonna hide the fill, hide the stroke, grab my eyedropper tool and find some just medium value there for the ear. And same thing with this ear. We'll come back later and do highlights and more details on the ears. Um, but for now, we just wanna get kind of that main solid color um, for them. So eyedropper, find that medium value. And then uh, the last thing that we're going to do here on uh, this step is a little bit more detail with the hair. So as you can see, some of this um, top part of the hair is the main highlight that's gonna be slightly different from that medium value we added before. Um, so I'm just going to outline around this top part of the hair. And if this was your final uh, portrait, the hair is going to be something that might be a little bit tricky to figure out how to go about doing it. But what I would say is to not worry about too much detail, but just look for the main areas of highlights and the main areas of shadows in the hair that you can outline separately. Um, when you are working on your final portrait, if you have questions about how to go about doing the hair, definitely email and ask. All right, so I'm going to hide the fill and grab a little bit more of a highlight value there to fill that in. Um, and then this bottom part of the hair we can leave and same with over here. But I'm gonna go ahead and now group everything that I did into our medium layer before we go on to um, more of the highlight shadows and refining things. So I'm gonna add a new layer, double click and call this medium detail. And then I'm gonna click on my first path there, scroll down to the last path to highlight all of them. And then I'm gonna drag and drop those into the medium layer. So now all of those are grouped together nicely. And I can bring back now my background layer. So if we zoom in here, you can start to see uh, this face is definitely getting a lot more detail. Uh, but we're gonna move on to the last step, which will add the details um, as you can see uh, how this picture here has a lot more of those details and refines things compared to what we have here. So we're going to go back, add highlights and shadows next.